Hello, my name's Chris Higgins. I work for Adina at the University of Edinburgh and I am the coordinator of the Cobweb project. Cobweb Citizens Observatory Web is a EU funded framework programme 7 project which started a few years ago now, started back in November 2012 and it runs up to the end of 2016. It's a it's quite a large project. It's got 13 partners from five different European countries. The overall objective of the, the project is to, is to explore and exploit the, the upsurge and the availability of ubiquitous handheld mobile devices, i.e. smartphones or tablets. These are GPS enabled internet capable devices that ordinary citizens more and more are just carrying around with them. This is creating lots of opportunities in terms of people as sensors and opportunities for ordinary citizens to get involved in collecting environmental information which potentially could be of enormous use for decision making for policy formation and policy delivery. When we were constructing the, the, the Cobweb project, putting a proposal together, we uh, put together, we built a consortium, like I said, comprised of 13 different partners, five different European countries, but representatives from the academic, public and private sector. So we have small medium enterprises on the project, the Welsh Government, as a, as a key player on the project, because remember the, the main objective of the project is to generate data which could be of use for, for policy. We also have a standards defining organisation in the project, the Open Geospatial Consortium. So in terms of the context for the project, you, you will see that we're in the, the, the beautiful Dovey Biosphere uh, Reserve area here in Mid Wales. The camera is currently pointing south towards McHuntleth. But uh, the project is predicated on the world UNESCO designated the UNESCO World Network of Biosphere Reserves. And we have four biosphere reserves in Cobweb. There's uh, the Dovey here in Wales where the majority of the development work has been conducted. And we are now at the stage in the project where we are increasingly transferring the technology to our other biosphere reserves in Greece, the Gorge of Samaria and Mount Olympus, and in Germany, the Vaden Sea. Other major context for Cobweb is the Global Earth Observation System of Systems, and the data and uh, the toolkit which we are creating will be uh, discoverable and usable within GEOS and the hope is that ultimately we'll see citizens in many different places collecting data that can be used within GEOS. Okay, uh, the, the emphasis within Citizen Observatory Web, though we've done a, a lot of stakeholder engagement, has very much been on the citizen. And a year and a half or so ago we were thinking, How, what's the best way of augmenting this? And we had the idea of doing an increased amount of co-design, which is getting citizens actively involved in driving the project. So not just testing or valid, testing the, the software or validating our concept, but helping us uh, generate new ideas and ideas about how we could improve the current design. So we, we let a number of subcontracts here in the Dovey area and we're successful in attracting seven sub-projects. So we have seven citizen groups here in the Dovey area mobilising citizens through, throughout the field season in 2015. The citizen groups are Penn Park Eye Community Forum, Cardigan Bay Marine Wildlife Centre, Outward Bound Aber Dovey, Uskalbro Hudgen in Machuntleth, the Royal Society for Protection of Birds at Annis here, Snedonia National Park Authority, and Dovey Woodlands. So the, the principal 
behind the co-design projects that we currently have running this field season is that the, the citizen groups will mobilise volunteers in the local area and will help address outstanding uh, issues relating to their own business. The framework, the Cobweb framework we've developed is very flexible, quite a powerful toolkit. One of the most notable aspects is the ability for projects, so-called survey masters, to author their own app. So though there's a Cobweb app, we present users with the flexibility of customising it to meet their own requirement. And this is evident in the range of projects that we currently have underway here in Wales. They're covering areas as diverse as monitoring dolphins in Cardigan Bay, through to Japanese knotweed in Snowdonia National Park, and salt marsh revitalisation in the Anisheer. A wide range of issues which illustrates and is testing out the, the full range of functionality available within the framework. So we're moving into the last quarter of the project now and the emphasis is shifting. We've demonstrated the, the first cut of the platform working. We're validating it here in Wales and in the remainder of the project there will be greater emphasis on uh, research aspects, getting greater buy-in, dissemination and seeing the software used more extensively in other countries, a broader demographic, and specifically within Greece and Germany. As a, a research project, one of the main issues that Cobweb has been, has been addressing is how to make useful for policy the vast amounts of environmental data that ordinary citizens are, are now capable of collecting and are collecting and is becoming available over the internet. Uh, work will undoubtedly continue and who knows how this technology, this rapidly moving technology is going to develop in the future. But for sure I think we can see citizens becoming more involved in environmental monitoring and hopefully this will lead to better environmental governance.